I was filming my intro and I turned my phone off. How annoying. I've done that twice now. Anyway, it's Phaedra from Noble Flowers. We are doing a big shed clean up today. So we're going to show you the before and after and just how we've organized things. Please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. We've got 80% of you watching these videos and not subscribed. So it would be so awesome to get an influx of subscribers. I think I've got like 68 subscribers. Thank you so much. It's exciting to think that there's this many people that enjoy the videos. So thank you so much. I would love to know who you are and where you're from and if you have a farm yourselves. So leave us a comment. I would love to know who you are. Okay. I stopped it again. Anyway, um, let's get into it. I've got my camera set up and it's doing a time lapse because we're going to clean out our shed. So I'll quickly turn this around and show you what we're working with here. Here is our very messy shed. Because all season, we just threw things in because we just didn't have time. Oh, it's bad. So what we've done is we've gone and bought this really big, heavy duty shelf and we're going to pull everything out now. And we're doing it later in the day because there could be snakes in there. Um, I've got my time lapse set up here, except the kids think it's model time. You can hear it going off. So hopefully that's going to give us a nice time lapse of this. I don't know if we'll get it finished today. We might have to set it all up again tomorrow. So we're going to get cracking. We're done. Well for now. <laughs> there was so much junk in there. It is unbelievable. I've got a few things left in here. We'll give the vine a trim back just to try to keep it back off the sides. Look, as you can see there, there's really not a lot of side on that. We need to fix this bit. It's coming off the wall a little bit, but I'm happy with it. I actually really like this rustic little shed. So let me show you the junk now that came out of it. Brace yourself. You ready? How did I even fit that much crap in my shed? So for those who like junk, let's have a look. I have, we live near pine, pine forests. So we go pine coning all the time and then we don't use the pine cones. So we've got a lot of them and we got rid of our wood fire. So yeah, get rid of them. Um, just some oh, a pyrethrum. It looks like I just go buy a new one every time I need one because I forget where it is. That has been one of the big issues with not having this shed organized. We can't find things. So we'll go looking for it, can't find it. We have to go buy another one. So things like plumbing supplies, we have fitting, lots of fittings that can never find it or irrigation supplies, pots we could always find. But just things like that, it was just costing us money by not having this organized. And I, li I listened to a podcast by Think Media and they were just talking about um, being productive, especially for creative people, they get distracted so easily. And one of those distractions is having clutter in your life. So I listened to that this morning and I'm like, right, we're doing this today. We can't do another season on the farm in clutter like this. And we've got three sheds to do this to. Actually four, no, probably five. Um, I didn't even know we had gutter guards, but there you go. That's the, the mount things that you hang guttering on. Got some old chains. I think these are like, um, those straps that you tie things to trailers, which is handy. All the, I found my sharpening stuff for the chainsaw. Don't have the chainsaw anymore though. That pack I'm chucking that or giving it away. Um, we knew we had all this because we use it. Those things over there, probably I just, I need to sort out the, the trays and stuff, just empty them out. All these tools, we do use a lot of them, but we just, they were in a jumbled mess. It was too hard to get to them. What else have we got? All the pots. That is really what the shelf is for. I'm going to organize these kind of into size just so we can get them. And realistically, we probably don't need any more at this point. We keep collecting them. I think we can stop. Um, just some little bits and pieces, some 
feet for the pots, broken ceramics which will go in the bin. Here's my helper that didn't help. Anyone with kids knows how that goes. Um, I've thrown a little bit of stuff out but not a lot at this stage but I really need to fix this up because it is a lot to get back in that shed. That shelf is going to help heaps. I'm sitting in the car waiting for the kids because I thought they were in the car but they're not. Where are they? So I'm waiting for them because I'm going to go take them to school and go keep working on that junk pile. Um, I'll show you the junk pile. Probably you can see it from here. Can you see? Can you see that? I've got to sort that out today. Here's one. What smoke? The engine. Oh. And here comes the other one. I thought yours were in the car. No. Why not? I am I didn't pack a bag. Bag. Of course she did. Did you pack your bag? Yeah. Why not? What was I doing in the car? <laughs> Mum, don't get a school uniform label. So why we're are you going doing? to pick up Stool. some Stools. So the school is a pretty old school. Do you know what year that school has been there since? Bud? It's nineteen. It's been there for like something years, like one hundred and fifty-nine years. Anyway, they've got old schools from and the I've art room. And I've placed my butt on everyone. Okay. You do. Old <laughs> schools in the art room, and they they just bought new ones, so they're selling off the old vintage ones. So we've bought two of them because it's a little piece of history, and we love that. So one day that'll probably be in our garden studio. That's going to be pretty cool. Make you sit on them. Anyway, we're going to. I've got to drive now, so I'll be back. Hi guys, we're back. We didn't actually get to the clean up this morning. We've had a very busy day. He's going to pick his nose. <laughs> so we got these stools. I'll show you. Here's the stools against our house. I'm about to paint it. On. I think I'm going these colours. Hey guys, back. Oh, I forgot my gloves. Oh, I hate doing things without gloves. I'm gonna run in and grab them. I wonder if I can get that up. So these are the things I get sidetracked with and I just, I'm trying to waste on this crap, but I... I don't have time to waste on this crap, but I will do it. Because it looks pretty! And I love it! Of all the tools we have lying around, you would think there'd be a rake, but there's not. We do have one, but it's somewhere around the property, because Moroni has a really bad habit of leaving things everywhere. So I either go and find it. Oh, there it is. See, he did. Look, look. Bloody Korcha again. So here we are. <laughs> I've actually emptied it out. I knocked that over because I didn't want it to fall on the baby. I've got some skulls. So we've got cow, kangaroo. Um, I think that's a hog, like a wild boar and a sheep. I'm pretty sure. So here's where we're at. 
looking pretty empty. I've left those hanging because they'll keep hanging there. For a garden shed that's just going to have pots and buckets, tools, things that it doesn't matter if they get wet, they'll be at least out of the weather and out of the sunlight. So for those sort of things, it's fine. And like I said before, I really love how rustic it is. Let me show you again. I think it's cute. It's cute as. It's pretty cute as. Even the rubbish bin's cute. And the wreath I stuck up, very old wreath. It's made on the ring from a wine barrel. So anyway, I feel happy that I got this done. A little bit, I think I've spent 15 minutes tonight. I'm not gonna bother filming me sweeping it out. I'll just do that and then we'll go inside, do our stuff and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, I will get out here, hopefully with Moroni, and we will work on putting this back together. So it's been a three day project only because everything we do is broken over into little spurts because of the kids. But they're so cute, so. What you doing? Where are you going? This is why I knocked that table over. Because somebody is very curious. Could have called him George. Hi guys, I'm back for session three of this big cleanup job. Using a ring light, I don't know if I've got this really cool clip on one. I don't know if it's making a difference. Yeah, it is a little bit. Is it? I don't know. I need to go somewhere darker and check this out. Probably if I face this way. No, 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 let's go here. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> it is working. I'll pull it off and show you, I love it. I actually really don't like ring light. So um, as many of you know, I'm a photographer by trade and I know about lighting, I just haven't used it for videos yet because it's a pain. Um, but yeah, I don't love ring lighting because I hate that circular catch light that it puts around the iris on the eye. I just think it looks awful. And I know that it casts a really nice light on the face for beauty work and all that, but my gosh. Um, but this little tiny one, I've got to like it. It doesn't throw that horrible catch light, you see? You can see it, but from afar it just looks like a dot, which is nice. I think that's much more flattering. You don't look like an alien. Anyway, I've got one of our t-shirts on that we have been putting together. So the plant lady top, um, jumper or sweater, whichever country you're in. And my husband, I think he's got his noble flowers one on. So I'll pop a link below for those. There's other options like t-shirts and singlets and things. There's also a plant man one, I like it. So we're gonna head out. I'm gonna set the camera up for the time lapse again. And we're hoping, hoping, hoping to get this shed done today. Please, I hope the baby behaves so we can get it done. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, now we're gonna build this and then pack in the things that we wanna keep. Guys, we didn't get it finished. It's just got a bit too hot. Um, the baby is playing in the dirt everywhere, which is fine, but this dirt's been in the shed. It's pretty yucky dirt. It's kind of hard to entertain him while we try to do it. We've got a problem with European wasps and they're buzzing around and they're all over the grass at the moment because it's hot. Um, so I'm just going to leave it. I've got probably the most stuff packed in that I want to keep. I just need to go through the rest. I'll flip this around and show you. So this is what I'm left with. We've got the big shelf in, which really has tidied things up so much. We've got a lot of pots. I've said to my husband, don't get any more pots. Moroni makes his own potty mix and he makes it in bulk and we just kind of leave it in a pile. Just 
up in the field a little bit in the shade so we don't have a lot of potting mix that we really need on hand we do keep perlite on hand when almost out we need to get a new one yeah anything else we don't really keep a lot on hand we sort of buy the fertilizers and the ingredients we need when we're setting up a bed we buy it as we need it and we use it sort of within a week or two so there will be room to just sort of stack those bags of stuff and just to put them somewhere until we use them um, but in terms of leaving a space for them I didn't really and then just some things over there like sphagnum moss um, some peat core just random stuff so yeah I'm gonna have to do a fourth session but I'll do that with the kids and then I'll just probably be left with a pile that I've got to get rid of so composting things things to just sort of I'll put the pine cones back in the forest um because we can just get more when we want them I don't really need to store this many pine cones um, or we might leave them for when we burn off. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've got to empty out pots of soil. <sighs> I've got a new veggie bed we're setting up, so I'll pop them in that. Um, yeah, there's probably another like heap of work to do, really, because we've got a lot of ceramic pots that I want to empty out and store. So they'll just go on the floor in here. Um, yeah, anyway, look, I'll see you soon because I'm not done here.